everybody. Can you hear me? We're about to start. If you can find a seat, please. Today we are hosting our very first um, Katrina workshop. Um, last year, after the Katrina contest that we hosted, our Dia de los Muertos event, we got lots of inquiries about how do these ladies dress up this way and what's the meaning behind it. Whenever I was younger or whenever I first got into it, it was just kind of like dressing up costume. And then as I started to dive deeper into it, we started to understand, the, learn meanings and educate ourselves on the actual holiday. And so we just thought this would be a really great opportunity to show people how to do their makeup, their um, ensembles and the crowns so we're just kind of teaching our culture today and so hopefully that'll inspire a little bit more participation in our contest in October. Day of the Dead is a Mexican holiday where families come back to the souls of their deceased relatives for a brief reunion. During this brief period the souls of the dead awaken and return to the living world to feast, drink, dance, play music with their loved ones. In return living family members treat the deceased as honored guests. Death and the dead were seen as a natural part of life that should be honored and celebrated rather than mourned. I love the thought of your fa of you know one day out of the year your family gets to come back from where they are to visit you and to be with you and to just enjoy that time with you. We're going to be hearing from some of our Katrinas that have won in the past. They're actually our teachers today and so we're really excited about learning from them as this is not a profession it's just something that they love so they want to come share about it and hopefully people will be inspired to create their own creations. So we're going to be doing the makeup workshop next and I'm going to call Ashley up to come instruct you guys in that. She's going to have some great input for you guys. I started to actually research more and I started to look into more of what it was and went into depth as far as what it meant to my, my heritage and my culture. Um, and now it's just a full blown thing. Now we have all kinds of things, events like the Catarina contest here in San Angelo or things like this, um, or we can really truly like show just our love and and how much that, how beautiful this is for us. So I was originally born in Lafayette, Louisiana, but my parents are both from Hispanic descent. I didn't know a lot of Hispanic people. Or I had not a lot of Hispanic friends. Most of the time, I was the only one in my class. So when I was like, oh, like, what are you? I was like, I'm Cajun. I'm Cajun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my parents were like, no, you're not. <laughs> So I was really excited to learn about my culture, learn about um, all these new things that I had never really known before. When I first moved here, my eighth grade Spanish teacher, Miss Ornella, she was wonderful. She was the one who really taught me about Day of the Dead and what it was like and the traditions. And I went up home to my mom and my dad and I was like, oh my gosh, like I love this. I love this. This is so fun. And so after that, that was when I was 14. So when I was about to turn 15, my quinceanera, me and my parents talked about it, and I was like, this is what I really want to do. I'm, I'm really interested in this. I was learning more about my culture. I was excited, and I had a lot of friends, and they were so excited about it as well. So yeah, that was my entire quince theme. So my dress is a, a rin, uh, original charpas dress, and I actually found it in San Antonio. So San Antonio was the home of, I would say, everything... Day of the Dead. It's um, very detailed and it's yarn actually so it was handmade and I was so happy to find something just traditional and beautiful and I added um, small touches. I really didn't want to mess with the dress too much since it it's just so beautiful so my family family members are placed along the petals of my dress and that was really the only detail that I added to it but besides that my hat is completely homemade I did everything myself from the lace to the fringe to the feathers and it was just a work of art in itself I really had to do a lot of trial and error with it see what I like see what I didn't like and it actually started from a little sombrero so that's what it is under all of that and then there's just a whole lot of cardboard <laughs> the blue gun is your best friend you can ask any of these Katrinas I know that in, initially in my family it's not something that we celebrated normally um, it's not something that we, you know, oh, hey, the Los Muertos is coming up. Um, it's just something I kind of, like I said, I fell into and was like, oh, wow, this is this is me. This is our roots. This is this is for us. So being able to um, kind of educate my kids on that and show everyone else around my community about it is just really, honestly, it's such a big honor. But really quickly, I want to introduce you to our last year. Actually, I think the last two years she's won first place. Um, in the children's category, Ms. Mylena Navarro, and I'm gonna ask her to come up here real quick. She won the, the child's uh, portion twice. last year. Er, twice, yeah. Twice. Princess, the champion. The whole contest, the whole decorating, all of it is my happy place. You should always have fun, and it's never, ever hard to do. You just have to think through and do it all. It's just something I really love, and it's, hard for other people to understand, but it's really easy for me to understand. 
I put my my great my great grandpa and my great grandmother because it was their 60th anniversary. I think it's just such a great time to honor our lost loved ones and a lot of times we don't know how to do that in a celebratory way. You know, it's like when we lose someone we're so sad and this has just been a new way of introducing to people that death is just something that happens in life and that we can celebrate those lost loved ones without having to be sad about it all the time. We can remember the things that they loved and honor them on, on this celebration. We did green just because it's my daughter's favorite color. It's a color I haven't done yet. Um, and then we we have the monarch butterflies here. Monarch butterflies represent the souls of our family that we um, are representing and remembering. See on the crown you'll see that I have all my, um, some loved ones that I have here. I wasn't able to fit everybody this year, but I have my Thea, my great grandfather, my grandparents, my great grandmother, and my mother-in-law that we lost. And this just, this is a big piece to me. Anytime we are doing de los, de los Muertos, I have to make sure that I'm carrying them with me so they know that they're here. And anytime I get stopped, I get a chance to explain who they are, what they, what, what they meant to me, who they are to me, and how much I miss them. And this is, this is definitely how I honor them and represent them every year, is to make sure that they're with me. When I moved to San Angelo, it was really nice to see people that look like me, that talk like me, that understand those, um, those cultures, you know, and they understand those traditions. This is something that I think we should absolutely be proud of. Um, I'm 100% proud of this. Any chance I hear, or any time I hear, you know, they're doing something for Dia de los Muertos, I'm a part of it. I'm like, let's, let's go, what, what can I do? What can I do to help? And even just right now, since I'm, I'm only 19, you know, I look forward to having a family one day, but just within my friends, I feel like it's just really what I love to pass it down to. I'm a part of AMAS, so Association of Mexican American Students there at ASU, and they love to do any type of like event that really shows off our culture. So yeah, I look forward to showing it off to my friends and one day my family. And we just really feel like it's such a beautiful part of our culture. It's walking art. And so I believe it's really catching on. We have more people coming every year and everything at the event is educational and free. And so we hope that people will come out this year and celebrate with us in our fifth year.